Hi, Shane King from Harcourts and welcome. Today we're talking with Blaj Rakas from the Bendigo Bank and we're discussing the Victorian Home Buyer Scheme. So Blaj, thank you for your time today. You're welcome, thank you. Excellent. So very quickly, what is the Home Buyer or Home Equity Scheme that we're hearing about? Yep, so the Victorian Home Buyer Fund um, is a shared equity arrangement um, with the Victorian Government, yep. whereby they make a financial contribution towards the purchase of a property. And simply the minimum contribution that they can contribute um, is 5%, but they can contribute up to 25% of the purchase price. Or if the applicant is a Torres Strait Islander um, or Aboriginal um, home buyer, the government can contribute up to 35%. All right, so just to put that in dollar perspective, so a buyer, for easy math, may be looking at buying a property to the value of 400,000, not really finding the quality of home or property that they're after. Being involved in this scheme could then change that buying price point from four to 500,000, is that right? Mm, potentially, yeah. And they also don't have the need then for lenders mortgage insurance either, whereby that would normally apply if they're borrowing more than 80% of the value of the property. Blaj, in terms of a deposit, how much of a deposit is required to be eligible for the scheme? Do you need the full 10%? Can it be a 5% deposit? Where the guidelines fall there? Yep, yep. So the minimum deposit is the 5% and that has to be demonstrated through genuine savings. Um, so um, each bank or lender will have some criteria around um, what genuine savings looks like. Um, so um, that's usually um, sort of evidenced over a three month period. Yep. Savings, always important. So in terms of the interest that gets charged, let's say I do buy a property valued at 600,000, uh, the home scheme or the equity schemes have been put in place, am I paying interest on the full purchase price or just the portion that is uh, allocated to me and not what's involved with the government? Yeah, so you're paying interest on the loan, the bank loan part of it, but the Victorian government contribution, no interest. So what type of property can someone go out and buy? Is it open to any type of property or are there some limitations around it? Basically, it's any standard residential property. So house, townhouse, unit, apartment. Yep. Um, vacant land isn't eligible um, because you need to live in the property. So yes. um, the purchase can be for a brand new property, provided it's actually finished and there's a certificate of occupancy available. Um, so it's not available for off the plan purchases. And in terms of the order of things, do I need the scheme in place before you sign a contract of sale or do you sign a contract of sale and then apply for the scheme? I would encourage anyone that's interested to um, get to their bank, seek their pre-approval for their loan and get their pre-approval in the scheme before um, entering into negotiating on a property and signing a contract. And naturally that would be a Bendigo Bank that you will approach. Of course. <laughs> If anyone's got some more questions or is interested to know more about the scheme, what would be your suggestion for their steps from here? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd pretty much just consider going into the, the website and having a look at the Victorian Home Buyer Fund. There's some fantastic information there, frequently asked questions, a range of scenarios that you can look at. Obviously, the eligibility criteria is there and an eligibility um, tab we can go into and determine whether you are eligible. Um, or you can contact um, me at the Bendigo Bank. So there it is, a quick snapshot of the equity scheme, lots of information there. If you do have more questions, please reach out to Blage or have a look online. And Blage, thank you very much for your time today, really appreciate it. Thank you, you're welcome.